The implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals requires all stakeholders to effectively contribute their quota to the attainment while also collaborating in vertical and horizontal partnerships. In our special focus on efforts by youth groups to contribute to the attainment of the SDGs, we will be spotlighting some of the activities that will enable citizens take personal responsibility for the Global Goals for Sustainable Development. First on the role is Joshua Makinde, the brain behind the SDGs Festival of Ideas. In commemoration of the World Youth Skills Day recently, the SDGs Festival of Ideas was hosted by FIDA in collaboration with IBI Foundation and the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on SDGs with strong calls for concerted efforts in the attainment of the goals. The federal government's SDGs office also restated its commitment to continue to support and partner all stakeholders for the successful implementation of the SDGs in Nigeria. Led by Ambassador Joshua Makinde, the SDGs Festival of Ideas is aimed at increasing the awareness level of Nigerians on sustainable development goals within the government, private businesses and among the citizenry and to ensure the achievement of the UN Agenda by the 2030 target date. It involves creating significant impact within several FCT communities based on the 17 SDGs and providing a platform that propels innovation across the 17 SDGs. Some of the activities of the festival include work for the SDGs, session with the National Assembly, top leaders' engagement, treasure hunt, and the World Youth Skills Day Dialogue. The World Youth Skills Day Dialogue featured keynote speech session, plenary session, and skills learning session. The skills learning session included graphic designs, bag making, makeup, and web designs. In his address, the head of sectors, Malam Yahya Hamza, who spoke on behalf of the federal government's SDGs office, restated its commitment to continue to galvanize all stakeholders for the attainment of the goals. The five-day festival of idea is the first phase, while the second phase of the program is planned to hold in September for 17 days with several structured programs focused on the realization of the aim. In a related development, the federal government has continued to reassure of its unwavering commitment to continuously support and partner all stakeholders for the successful implementation of the SDGs in Nigeria. Secretary of Programs at the OSAP SDGs, H.K. Suleiman, represented by Patricia Aniegwe, said the office is committed to actualizing Target 4.4 of the SDGs. The assurance was given at an event organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports to mark the World Youth Skills Day. It gives me great pleasure to be here today at this very important event. Permit me first to commend the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development for announcing the dynamism of sports for social economic development in Nigeria and their tireless efforts at engaging critical stakeholders to make greater impact for sustainable growth. Also, I congratulate all key partners, the Nigerian youth and youth all over the world on the commemoration of the World Youth Skills Day, which is being celebrated globally today. This year's theme, which is learning to learn for life and work, is up and timely, as there's no better time for such a critical discourse, considering the rate of unemployment in Nigeria and globally, according to general statistics available today. I am op optimistic that this gathering will avail us the opportunity for constructive dialogue, leading to effective and practical actions targeted at reviewing and providing solutions through our joint commitment, thereby making progress towards harnessing the basic skills and knowledge essential for our young people today. As we all are aware, the young demographics, which forms the larger part of the population, faces tremendous challenges of poverty, unemployment, marginalization, and exclusion in the political economy. Thus, <clears throat> this brought about youth restiveness, which is on the rise daily. Thus, we all must work in the spirit of partnership and pragmatism to make the right choices to improve life in a sustainable way by creating opportunities for the youth to move out of poverty into decent and sustainable work for inclusive growth. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
Permit me to say that the youth have a critical role to play in achieving the 2030 Global Agenda, as well as the 2063 Africa Agenda. The SDGs target 4.4 is to substantially increase the number of youth and adults who have relevant skills, including technical and vocational skills for employment, decent jobs, and entrepreneurship. Therefore, we must invest in our youth to build a competitive economy by providing the necessary mechanisms in our educational system with emphasis on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and to create opportunities for more practical trainings and skills acquisitions that will expose them to what they could do with their hands and brains to help build their artistic, digital, science, and technology competencies in order to take their pride of place in the fast-moving world economy. Our young graduates and non-graduates should be encouraged to have additional skills to build on their previous learning and life experiences at home and in school and in school to enhance their innovative skills and less dependency on white collar jobs. Also, we must inculcate the spirit of empathy and volunteerism in our youth to enable them to study their environment closely for various needs and profile solutions in their communities, thereby using these apparent skills to become self-reliant and financially secured. Besides all this, mentorship and intergenerational partnership is critical in promoting our local skills by equipping the young with the needed knowledge and ensuring that lessons learned are across all ages and ethnicities. In conclusion, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, permit me to say that the articulation of the actualization of Nigeria's economy and strategic aspirations of achieving food security and self-sufficiency depends on our youth engagement. The young people are our assets and future investments and they are critical thinkers, innovators, and change makers. Hence, my office, whose coordinating role is crucial to achieving the SDGs, also pledges its continuous support to all stakeholders, including the engagement of young men and women from their vast backgrounds for the successful implementation of the SDGs. We shall continue to work strategically with all stakeholders to address the economic challenges of this country with appropriate attention, focused on our young people, who are the source of our country's economic strength. Therefore, I invite you all today to join us and the rest of the global communities in promoting entrepreneurial skills by mobilizing, enhancing the potential ideas and commitment of our young people. Together, we are stronger and we can achieve the 2030 agenda without leaving one behind for the Africa we want in 2063. The Federal Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, other partners and stakeholders, also commended the federal government for the various youth empowerment initiatives while advising Nigerian youths to take full advantage of such initiatives for self-development.